Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, before I uh, begin my speech, I want to introduce myself. I am chairman for IT and Telecom Committee in Ukrainian Parliament. I am from a uh, totally new political party named Samopomic, uh, and uh, we enter into Parliament after all this revolution. Uh, our party uh, includes uh, just young and uh, new generation of Ukrainian peoples. Uh, before my parliament life, I am, uh, work more than 20 years for telecom and ICT sector from my student time. Uh, and, but I am changed. My normal life <laughs> I fall with crazy parliament life or crazy government life. Uh, uh, my experience now is a total different life. And all my experience in ICT, in digitalization, uh, was really different from business point of view than uh, from a government point of view. Uh, uh, how it's work? <coughs> how to switch? No, no, it's uh, presentation. Uh, presentation? presentation. What about presentation? Oh, so we Okay, no presentation is no problem. Uh, okay, I will be sending you this presentation. When we talk about the digitalization, uh, it now it's uh, number one questions and opportunities for all world countries. Uh, what? Uh, we have in Ukraine three years ago. 3G, no. 4G, no. Some e-administrative services, no. What we have for currently moment? Uh, we have a, two years ago we provide tender for 3G and now we have coverage for 3G. One and a half months ago, uh, we provide tender for 4G technologies, and now our telecom operator start provide 4G in the biggest Ukrainian cities. Why I am start uh, talking about the 3G, uh, 4G? Without digital infrastructure, it's impossible to build any e-services. E-health doesn't work. Administrative services doesn't work. Online schools doesn't work. First of all, Ukraine must be built digital infrastructure. Fiber optics, FTTH, FTTB technology, 3G, 4G, uh, without services, it's a digital base for all digital services. We start our work in Ukrainian parliament with uh, some legislation reform. Last 20 years, we have just telecommunications law, which was uh, voted 20 years ago. We use legislation, which was voted 20 years ago. What we have now? For last one uh, year, we create and we, we are, was successful voted act for public trust services. It's very important. Two months ago, uh, uh, we finished our basic law for cybersecurity. We understand that cybersecurity law is very important for Ukraine. Uh, Ukraine now have a difficult time. We have a war with Russia. It's not uh, our internal war. It's a war, hybrid war with Russia. And thank you very much for uh, European Union and Estonian uh, people and Estonian government. Thank you very much for your president uh, uh, for her uh, visit to Ukraine, which was uh, last week. It was a long uh, visit with a, a lot of uh, discussion. Exactly, Ukraine is such kind of situation we require it support from European Union, from our partners, and from US, from European Union uh, as well. 
Now in a parliament we have uh, another three important uh, project of law. It's a new law for electronic communications, a new law for radio frequency, uh, because we need to provide uh, technology neutrality, we need to provide reforming for our telecom uh, operators, and also very important uh, law which uh, we create together with Alexander Ruzhenko with uh, his agency. It's a law about the uh, all registers uh, in uh, Ukraine. What the problem we have with the registers now? We have more than uh, 30 different types of registers. These registers uh, not communicating to each uh, other. Uh, database is uh, totally different. For example, if we talk about the uh, register for uh, election committee, or we talk about the registers uh, for uh, tax agency, in principle it should be the same. Uh, but these two registers has a lot of differentiation. Uh, how many people uh, we have for uh, voting uh, registers? How many people we have for uh, tax agency? It's a different. It's a problem. It's a big uh, problem. Uh, next uh, uh, questions about the uh, administrative reform. Uh, Mr. Bondarenko showed a good picture. But uh, Ukraine is a parliament president republic, and uh, all deals, uh, all activities from cabinet of ministers under parliament control. And I would, want, I would like to ask Mr. Bondarenko and cabinet minister, where is administrative reform for ICT sector? As uh, <laughs> uh, president of Estonia said this morning, for successful uh, provision of uh, digital services, they must be strict coordinated. In Ukraine, for current moment, we have uh, five different ministers, 18 different departments in all government uh, infrastructure, and all ways responsible for digitalization. <coughs> all they. All they have uh, their own budget for digitalization, all they have their own programs, and finally it doesn't work. We calculate uh, that just from administrative reform, when we will be have one agency. For example, we have Alexander Ruzhenko with uh, his agency for e-governance. Uh, okay, it's maybe in the future, not in the future, tomorrow. Uh, cabinet of Ministry uh, should be create Ministry of uh, Digitalization or Ministry of uh, Digital Economy, as in uh, Poland, in Britain, in uh, Estonia, you also have independent uh, uh, agency. When we calculate effect from uh, this administrative reform for ICT, we immediately can receive more than 9 billion grivna for budget, we will be safe 9 billion grivna per year just from this administrative reform. Many times we ask European Union, please help us uh, with the money. Give us money, give us money. Okay, guys, we require at least support, but we have our own uh, money which we, we should be uh, safe for our budget. It's why Parliament strictly requirement from Cabinet of Ministry provide uh, this reform for ICT uh, sector. And next uh, three law uh, uh, which we require it for uh, voting in the near future. E-communications, radio frequency, cloud computing, uh, and this big law for big register uh, for Ukraine. Thank you very much for my speech. I am show you real situation. Uh, we do a lot. We do a lot really. My committee uh, have a really good relationship with the cabinet of ministry and with the president administration. It's why I think we are so successful. Our 
ICT sector so successful in Ukraine because uh, we have good relationship between president of administration, between parliament and between cabinet of ministry. Uh, it's very important uh, for us. And one more time, uh, I want to say thank you very much, uh, European Union. Thank you very much, Euro Commission. Thank you very much, Estonian government, people, Estonian Academy. Thank you very much for TAIEX, who support us for cybersecurity. Uh, together, uh, we provide more opportunities for growth for our country. Thank you. Good afternoon, dear colleagues, organizers of this outstanding event, as well as every who cares uh, about the government, e services, and other aspects of e citizenship. It is great pleasure and honor uh, for me to present Ukraine achievements here. Uh, State Agency for e governance uh, was uh, created on October 2014 and uh, implement state policy in uh, the sphere of e government, informatization, and information society development. The agency is a central uh, executive body overseen uh, by the Cabinet of Ministers of Ukraine, uh, and the agency activities are aimed uh, uh, at meeting uh, the need and interest of the three main groups of stakeholders, uh, citizen, business, and uh, state. The main legal act, uh, e-government development concept, uh, of 2017 uh, defines the uh, main goals and uh, prioritize uh, for three years, such as uh, modernize the public services, its e-services, electronic identification, and open data, modernization of public administration, its operability of registries, electronic document flow, e-government for basic industries, and management of e-government development. It's IT infrastructure, effectiveness, and efficiency. In uh, recent years, we achieved uh, significant progress as uh, evidenced uh, by the position of the state uh, in international rankings. Uh, so uh, uh, let's I talk about uh, tasks in the priorities defined for nearest future. Um, the, uh, it's uh, electronic services. Uh, while providing electronic uh, services, we are guided uh, by the law of Ukraine on administrative services and the e services development system uh, concept in Ukraine. Uh, now we uh, have launched uh, more uh, than uh, 15 electronic services in Ukraine in such fields uh, land and ecology, citizenship and migration, social protection, construction and property, business registration and management and more other. Uh, however, we, um, however, the nearest time we plan to increase the, uh, the number of e services to 100 in this year, uh, to encourage Ukrainian citizens and business to use electronic services, it's the uh, main issue today, to develop the software for public service center with our Estonian colleagues. Uh, in order to create new opportunity of the um, next uh, sphere is electronic identification, very important sphere for electronic services and uh, work with uh, citizen. Um, in order to create the new opportunities, the agency together with other stakeholders is working uh, on the development and implementation of tools for reliable and secure electronic identification. We have brought uh, domestic legislation closer uh, to the best practices in the field of electronic trust services, implementing uh, the European Union regulation EIDAS. In the previous year, was, uh, uh, par Parliament was adopted the uh, new law with trust services. Um, already more than one million people uh, have received a passport uh, for citizen uh, of Ukraine in the form of a plastic ID card. On this basis of which the future area we, uh, of electronic identification will develop. Uh, along uh, with this electronic identification tools such as digital signature, uh, 
mobile identification, bank identification uh, are being implemented and already in operation. Uh, the principle of uh, single sign-on will ensure uh, the integrity of electronic identification system. Uh, now we are developing formats, standards and requirements for electronic identification uh, and implement the trust services law. Uh, next sphere is open data. Uh, we increase the, uh, the number of data set required to be opened for by public authorities according to the law of uh, access to public information and act of cabinet of ministry uh, of Ukraine. In addition uh, to this, in 2016, uh, Ukraine joined and, uh, to um, the International Open Data Charter. This is a big step forward in increasing the transparency and efficiency uh, of the state and uh, municipal authorities, uh, as well as uh, other organizations active in the uh, public sector. About uh, 40,000 uh, uh, data sets has already been published on the single state web portal of open data, data.gov.ua. Uh, and uh, which we provide about 2,000 point, uh, two, uh, more than 2,000 uh, administrators from different uh, government body and municipalities. Uh, in this way, uh, the state uh, ensures openness and transparency as well as uh, compliance with best international practices and public inquiry. At present, active work in underway to raise awareness among citizen, business, and uh, public organization about the possibilities of using of open, open data. Uh, with the aim to give the opportunity for IT uh, project based on open data to develop the national competition open data uh, challenge was held. Uh, we plan in uh, this year uh, in order to facilitate the development of public uh, accessible social, civic, media and commercial open database project, we, would, uh, we should uh, modernize uh, the uh, single state web portal of open data. Uh, next sphere is uh, interoperability, it's Trimbita. It's uh, uh, based on uh, Estonian uh, X-Road system. Uh, with the aim of uh, to facilitate the implementation of Ukrainian system of interoperability in beta, we adopted the legal act uh, to interoperability of state electronic information resources uh, and other registry uh, of these resource resources. Um, the agency is working on the implementation of safe interoperability of uh, state registries. Uh, prioritize include not only interaction of state information resources, but also cross-bordering in, in, um, cross interaction. For the first time, the state electronic information resources were audited uh, in previous year uh, with the aim to help public authorities save time, reduce uh, expense, and improve the public service quality for citizens and business. This year, we uh, have initiated the um, digital by default principles in the Cabinet of Ministry. To achieve this task, um, uh, work on the organization technical semantic uh, aspects of the resource in conducted. For example, um, a person's identification in the registry is implemented based on unique, uh, unique uh, entry number in the registry. It's named uh, demographic registry which has the potential to become a universal identifier of person in different registry and information uh, databases. Uh, next uh, system, it's uh, also interoperability system, but it's uh, uh, interagency um, uh, document management system. It's another area of activity for ensuring the informatization uh, of public authority is the introduction of uh, uh, interoperability um, document management system. 
Uh, in this year, we approved uh, the act of cabinet minis of ministry on some issue of document management activity, uh, which uh, provide uh, uh, and will start uh, uh, cabinet ministry acts in electronic form. Uh, now uh, about uh, now the system work uh, um, and uh, uh, every day uh, near 5,000 documents uh, uh, sent daily in electronic f format between different government body. Our key task in order to improve our achievements, we should continue to realize our initiative and activities in this sphere. Uh, furthermore, it is necessary to introduce the single e-government web, web portal. Its um, uh, portal uh, will be on uh, domain.gov.ua with uh, principal one-stop shop. Uh, so I can see uh, that we have already done a good job, but uh, there is still much work to do. Uh, while uh, digitalizing, uh, it is important to remember that our goal is to serve citizens. Need uh, all this work is up to us, given uh, the support you can business experts, civil society, and uh, implementation partners. Thank you for your attention. Our project is financed by European Union, by Sweden, and by Estonian government, and our partner in Ukraine is e-governance agency. And our project is four years project divided into two phases. First phase to develop products, and second phase to implement and support uh, Ukrainian institutions to uh, in implementation process. Our aim is to develop our main two objectives, uh, to develop interoperability solution Trembita, which allows standardized and secure data exchange between uh, uh, institutions and registers, and to develop e-government solution for administrative service centers, BULIC, what is Trembita? Trembita is an alpine uh, horn uh, produced from wood, and uh, it is common among uh, Ukrainian highlanders. You used to live in, in Western Ukraine, and it's proper name for interoperability system. But uh, it's already described what's Trampita. It's similar system for Estonian X road system necessary for data exchange between institutions and different um, uh, databases. What's different from our usual development process? First time we have to combine our knowledge of development uh, of interoperability system with lo local e cryptography. And it has been a big uh, challenge because uh, it's really necessary for security issues because Trebita or XO, the interoperability systems, have to be uh, secure and organized way to, to change uh, information. Just one example why U Ukraine needs Trumpita if they have to get services. So far, they have to collect, people have to collect different uh, certificates to bring to the servant, to the service center, and to get services. When uh, Trumpita will be fully operational, uh, Ukrainian uh, people have no need to collect uh, spravkas or, or certificates to get services, but uh, because all this information is somewhere in state databases and servants can get it automatically. Our developers in Ukraine, our partners, Estonian company Cybernetica and Ukrainian company Soft Expansion, and we have good cooperation with our agency Cybernetica and uh, Soft Expansion. First 
five authorities to Borabi to be connected to the Trempiza, our good partners, our Minister of Justice, Interior, State Migration Service, State Fiscal Service, and Ministry of Social Policy. What is Wulik? I said that we are developing Trempiza and Wulik. Uh, Wulik means uh, be. Be house or be hive. yeah be hive, and uh, why it's important uh, information system for Ukraine because traditionally in, you know uh, as I said people so hard have to collect different uh, certificates from different institutions, but uh, already uh, implemented a new system. This is in Ukrainian called. SNAP, it means administrative service center, that people can go to the service center and they already will communicate with different institution. And we will develop an uh, information system. So uh, m many of, of SNAP send uh, requests and get uh, back the service in envelope. So we will develop a uh, information system for those SNAPs to, to, provide, to provide services in electronic way. It's already uh, uh, how VULIC how, uh, will look like. And why say Ukrainian society needs this? Because, as I already mentioned, to use data from national registers, because all data is somewhere but nobody knows where and there is no way to get it. To provide services, especially in, in uh, service centers, but in the future, uh, why not uh, only in, in digi digital way? And of course, we belong to the ULID family, what's responsible or helps to develop decentralization. It means that local government, uh, newly established from that they need to have access to information to be empowered, really. So uh, we feel ourselves very well in, in new lead society. We uh, announced a um, competition to uh, find 10 partners to implement WULIC first in, uh, during this year, and we, we got 96 applications from, from different regions. So far, we are in the process to, do, to, to decide in which region we will start our, uh, our piloting, but in the future, the system will be available for all SNAPs. Uh, our timeline, as I mentioned, during this uh, uh, year, we will develop the Trembita and Vulik, and it's our first phase of the project. And in the end of the year, we start this implementation process and support because Ukraine is bigger countries than Estonia in, and it takes time and uh, needs support to implement all those systems. And as I said, we will help to uh, connect databases and authorities. And when uh, Trambita and Vulik will be fully operational, uh, the uh, not people, but data will run in Ukraine. Uh, so my first question is going to Mr. Danchenko, and uh, you are pushing a broad set of uh, legislation connected to e-government and e-governance. I have been member of a parliament also, and been working with this kind of laws. And I should say that 89% of my colleagues didn't understand anything <laughs> what we were talking about. But at least there was 11% of parliament, meaning 11 persons, more or less, who understand it. And this was great support, and as we agreed, all the rest were of the members accepting us as, a, as experts. So what is the situation with yours? Uh, it's a totally same situation. <laughs> I give parliament is bigger. Uh, I give, yes, just parliament is bigger, but I give you a uh, first example uh, four years ago when we entered into parliament, and our political party started creating this IT and telecom committee. Uh, when we create this committee, I'm uh, proposed what named for this committee should be like committee for dig digitalization or committee for digital future. Mm -hmm. All generation of Ukrainian parliaments ask me, what is it digitalization or what is the digital future? <laughs> and uh, they said to me that, uh, Alex, it's not uh, understandable for us. Uh, it's not good for our business card. IT and telecom, it's a strong, and we understand this. 
uh, but it was not uh, uh, last surprise for me. Uh, last uh, three and a half years, I am fighting uh, together with Alexander, together with the Cabinet of Ministers, together with Estonian government and uh, a lot of European Union uh, Commission uh, for push in total new legislation base for digitalization. Uh, first questions, which I am received from uh, uh, my colleague from Ukrainian Parliament, Alex. How much telecom operator paid for 3G license? 15 billion grivnas. Why we should be voting free of charge for all your digitalization questions? For all your, why, why we need support your uh, uh, digital laws? Uh, it's question about the corruption. <laughs> uh, next question, uh, that uh, in Ukrainian parliament we cannot provide e-document. Why? Because like a 15% of Ukrainian MPs, uh, they never use email services. Never use. They doesn't have any uh, iPads or computers. If you talk about my committee, can I provide stream online translation session from my committee? Mm. No. No. I need uh, put this question into agenda and members of my committee should be voted for this. If no, I cannot provide online uh, translation for my session. <laughs> uh, it's very briefly my answer for your question. Yes, I have a lot of uh, problems uh, because just 5% people from all Ukrainian parliament understand what is it, uh, digitalization. If Alexander will be show his presentation in the Ukrainian parliament, uh, in Parliament uh, will be uh, still like uh, maybe three percent people, so they will be understand what Alexander shows. <laughs> okay, anyway. At least but three. it's the same situation, <laughs> but I am uh, look forward. I hope that everything will be good. Thank you. Mr. Rezhenko, you are actually implementing those e-government reforms. So what is the biggest challenge or, or problem for you? Is it like organization in the government is slow? Is it legislation or is it technology? What is your biggest headache you have when you wake up in the morning and go to your <laughs> office? <laughs> uh, I think today we have a good decision and good uh, electronic system, but uh, I think the m best issue and the best problem is uh, engage the people and civil servant uh, work with this system, and I think the best problem is uh, the uh, it's um, uh, change the mind and mentality of citizens, civil servants, deputies. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and uh, I think it's uh, in the uh, future it will be the most challenge for us. Okay, thank <coughs> you. I, I I think I totally agree with you, but Murray. You have been working as a project implementer now almost for two years already, and uh, so what is your <coughs> what is your view? What is like what is like disturbing you mostly, or uh, or or encouraging you mostly when you do this tremendous work in Ukraine by implementing Trembita and Bulik and all all the stuff around it? <coughs> At first, I would like to say that. Uh, uh, Success of every project depends on of local partner. E Governance Academy have uh, in some countries we have not, not started a project even because there have been no coordinator or partner. What I would like to say is that uh, in Ukraine we have strong open minds and uh, result oriented partner and it is why you can expect good results. But uh, another issue to, to, to say is a uh, certain lack of coordination, as you mentioned. 
uh, we belong to the decentralization family and uh, understanding is that everything has to be centralized. If you talk decentralized. decentralized and if you talk about central coordination, people always say we are developing decentralization, now you want to centralize something. <laughs> uh, just uh, example, I talked about uh, those uh, service centers of, of administrative services, and nobody is really coordinating their activities. If somebody wants to provide services, they have to deal with all those 700 in the future with 1,000 different uh, service centers. It means that every it's huge, uh, capacity necessary to do it. And it means that every center provides services in, in a little bit different way. So we are really happy to have a good partner, but in, in, in um, service centers uh, development, uh, ICT development process, we expect to have stronger coordination. But not thank centralization. Th thank you. I am also asking about the coordination. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, any questions, comments from the audience? Feel free to do it because we have time just for last couple of questions. And if you feel free to ask from these two guys to access them in Ukraine, it's really hard. You know, we are very busy. Yeah. But uh, take a mic, please, because where is the translation is going on also. I'm Ansild. I'm uh, involved in uh, building an um, e-learning platform for decentralization for, for ULEAD. And uh, the digital skills and really the access to computers uh, I is a serious issue. And it didn't change here in Estonia also before really the state took uh, it into hands and, and made some initiatives. Uh, also supporting taking loans to buy a computer for a teacher or, or etc. Or a massive uh, computer skills training program. Are, are there such programs or plans uh, in the air also? Or, or what, what, what are your ideas on that? Uh, uh, it's a good question because without uh, basic learning uh, about uh, IT computing, uh, it's impossible to create any big uh, reforms. And uh, now in Ukraine, Cabinet of Ministry prepare a big uh, reform uh, for learning system in Ukraine. And uh, I know that uh, they will be a, uh, start provide lessons uh, for. Uh, IT for work with uh, computers uh, before basic uh, school through all Ukraine uh, territory. Our problem is uh, that uh, we cannot now provide uh, total e-learning like online school which uh, have Estonia because we don't have uh, high-speed internet coverage through all Ukraine territory. And uh, first of all, we should be build this uh, digital infrastructure through all uh, uh, Ukraine uh, territory with uh, access for high-speed internet. And uh, now uh, Cabinet of Ministry, Ministry of Economic, together with uh, my committee and with the President of the we create uh, this uh, special program, how we will be create high-speed internet coverage through all Ukraine territory, especially for school, especially uh, for school. Uh, after this, uh, we will be have a lot of uh, young people who can work uh, with the new technologies. Uh, uh, but uh, in the same time, now we have a uh, same program for all generation people. It's also very important because uh, now they uh, mostly clients for e-services, not uh, young people. Uh, they are mostly clients for new e-services. And the uh, Cabinet of Ministry provides special program for uh, people under 60 uh, years and provide learning program for this and start to learn uh, use computer or iPads, tablets and basic uh, software. Thank you very much for this great comment and, uh, and question also because digital skills are definitely absolutely necessary both for the citizens, businesses and users because otherwise you are creating something that nobody cannot use. <laughs> so um, thank you very much for this great session, Mr. Alexander Danchenko, Alexander Rozhenko and Mari Pedak. Uh, 
Thank you very much for a good audience. And uh, the Ukrainian session is over. And we have here also Estonian e-practice books uh, available in Russian language also. Those are better in languages, can afford it free of charge. Those only following English, you can pay it for 20 euros. <laughs> so thank you very much once again. But at least the free of charge languages in final cost uh, expensive. Exactly. <laughs> Russian <laughs> language. Give a warm applause. <laughs>